Back now with today's weekend movie ticket. The latest box office offerings are all about the thrill. They are, but are they actually right for you and your family? We're going to check in with the experts in a moment. But first, let's give you a little preview from Joelle Garshulo. My name is Christine Lucas. As I sleep, my mind will erase everything that I know, everything that I do. Based on the best-selling novel of the same name, Before I Go to Sleep tells the story of a housewife who, as a result of a tragic accident, wakes up every morning with no memory. Who are you? I'm your husband. Little by little, terrifying truths emerge, forcing her to question her life and everyone in it. He says he's protecting you, but don't trust him. The psychological thriller stars Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth. Losing 30 pounds for his latest role, Jake Gyllenhaal plays Lou Bloom, a twisted freelance videographer in Nightcrawler. You have a good eye. I want you to contact me when you have something. Something like this. Think of our newscast as a screaming woman running down the street with her throat cut. You will be seeing me again. The pulse-pounding film explores the underground world of L.A. crime journalism. Go around! Get a shot inside the car! With camera crews racing to film fires, murders, and mayhem. If it bleeds, it leads. For today, Joel Gargiulo, NBC News, New York. With us now, Access Hollywood film critic Scott Bantz, comedian Carrie Riley of NotSoSkinnyMom.com, and, <laughs> contri <laughs> makes me laugh when I <laughs> and contributing editor of Fandango.com, Eric Davis. And good morning to all good of you. Morning. Thanks for being with me. Eric, let's start with you. Yep. Before I go to sleep, this trailer has sucked me in. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it a psychological thriller or a visual thriller? I mean, who's this movie yeah, for? You know, tis the season for adult dramas. If you like psychological thrillers, like puzzle movies that slowly unravel, especially ones starring Oscar winners like Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth, I think if you're looking for something a little freaky and creepy without the blood and guts, I'm personally not a yeah. blood and guts guy. I get I get really icky. Then I say check it out. But there is some violence in it. There's this. a lot of violence right? in this movie. Towards the end, without giving too much away, it does get very violent to the point where everybody in the theater was like, well, this is not what we were expecting yeah, from this movie. Not a date movie. Not a date not movie. A date movie. <laughs> not for teens. Not for... Okay, but do I have to think too hard? I hate those psychological movies where I'm spending hours afterwards like, well, what did that mean? You do have to think a lot, but yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. You want to go to a movie that's entertaining and one that challenges you as well, which is this yeah. movie like, does. How scary is it? Because Carrie, like me, you don't like scary movies I, I either. I don't either. I can't take a scary movie at all. I don't think I don't think it's that scary. I think it's suspenseful. It's sort of like Groundhog Day, but like a demented Groundhog Day, because every day she wakes right. up and she doesn't remember the, the the day before, which is great if you just had a big Sunday the night before. There's a <laughs> big dinner with pizza. I love a you Hitchcock remember. suspense, though. I love a yes. Hitchcock suspense because it keeps you guessing. Okay, I want to talk about Nightcrawler if we can. So now, do we. I, I, um, <laughs> I like this movie. I went to the premiere uh, this past week. I, I liked it. Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal lost, what, 40 30 pounds? 30 pounds. Okay. Yep. First of all, I didn't understand what the point of that was. His character, whether his character was skinny or heavy didn't seem to matter. It didn't yeah. seem to matter, but when you make a physical transformation like that, it does wonders for the Oscars. It just did wonders for Matthew McConaughey, who won Best Actor for Dallas Buyers Club. He lost 40 pounds. But it doesn't matter for this film because Jake Gyllenhaal, it's a riveting performance. It's a performance of his career. He's but fantastic. I think losing the weight helped his eyes bug out more. I'm yeah. being serious because that was part of his crazy. It was like a silent, eye-bugging mm -hmm. kind of character. I agree. Renee, right? Ru Renee Russo, you have to talk about her, too. I think she steals a lot of the movie. She's, she's, great. she's fantastic. Great in this film. Yeah, and is, this movie, is this movie scary, though? I mean, it's, or, it's suspenseful. Yeah. It's a thrill. It's also a dark comedy. It is a satire of the news business. Yes, it so, is. Yes. No wonder you liked it. I, well, I, yes, I do, but I want to have this big disclaimer. We're not really like right, that. No. Okay? <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. It, it has been exaggerated for Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> it's exaggerated for Hollywood, but I think that Jake Gyllenhaal it gives an Oscar-worthy performance. Yes, He's going to yes, be in tough competition with Steve Carell, with uh, Michael Keaton, with Eddie Redmayne. But I think that Jake Gyllenhaal should get nominated and for an Oscar. I think it's for all ages. I didn't feel like it, like a teenager couldn't see it. it there wasn't. I think everybody could see it. Well, I mean, although part children. of the plot was right. because he was shooting very graphic things, whether it was tasteful for morning television, things yeah. we deal with all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. It's not that scary, though. I yeah. think it's okay. It's suspenseful. Right. It's we thriller. can handle it. Here in the not. East, it's a good day for these movies. Fun having you guys. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.